Hi, this is Angie here at Abundant Acres Homestead and today is harvest day. Um, I've got quite a bit of stuff that I need to get in. There's a lot of stuff that is overdue to go in. And today it's supposed to rain. Hopefully it really does rain because we are in a massive drought and everything is suffering for it. I've got so much stuff that I've got to get harvested and I've got to get put up. Um, it's not going to be one of those fun days where I get to pick one thing and go harvest. I've got like small harvests of everything. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole gamut and show you guys what I do because sometimes you don't always get enough stuff to do like a big harvest of one thing. Like all of my carrots came out at once, which was amazing. Um, if you haven't seen that video, it's right here. Sometimes you only get a few things here and a few things there. So what do you do with them? Well, this video, I'm gonna show you what I do with them. But let me go ahead and get some of this stuff harvested. Got quite a few cucumbers on and I was really wanting to do um, some baby dills, but it seems like I either find them like in their super, super tiny or they get to like this size. So it's like, that's a little too big for a baby dill. I mean, that's probably, that would probably work. But anyways, it seems like I'm not catching them at the right time for the perfect baby dill size. So hopefully the other side is a little bit better. But I'm gonna get all these, hopefully get all the cucumbers off. I keep thinking cucumbers is one of those things where I think I've got them all and then I look and realize I missed a couple. Kind of like a zucchini. One day they're there, and the next thing you know, they're giants. And that's the harvest. Now, mind you, I have a ton of the teeny tiny ones coming on. But they're really starting to come on. So my green pepper plants didn't fare very well. I actually only ended up with two green pepper plants, but luckily Jeff from Grow Something at Jeff sent me these ancient sword peppers and these things have been producing really wonderful. Um, I've been picking them while they're green so that I can have more of that green peppery flavor, um, but they are doing great. And this is like a small one. They taste pretty much like a green pepper um, I would say the biggest difference is, is the walls are pretty thin compared to a green pepper. You know, green pepper has those thick walls. These walls are a little bit thinner, but same flavor. Well, at least if you pick them when they're green. My son and his girlfriend, this was their first year planting a garden. I'm so proud of them, by the way. But they planted jalapenos and she kept asking me, when did she pick a jalapeno pepper? Um, if you look online, it says anywhere from two to three inches. What I like to do is, I don't know if you can see the difference in the two. Both of these are about the right size, but I prefer this one. And let me show you why. You can see this one here, nice and pretty. I like it. I don't know if you can say, see it, pick it up on camera, but Kenny calls them the stretch marks. That's when I like to pick them is when they have the little stretch marks on them. And the reason for that is because I truly believe that these have more of a jalapeno-y flavor. They're gonna be as hot as they're gonna be regardless of what size you pick. But I feel like when you get them when they've got the stretch marks, that they have the more jalapeno-y taste. Check this one out. Now, these are called yard long beans, but I've been picking them about at this stage because I find that when they get a little bit longer and a little bit bigger, they start getting more yellow and a little more done. And, ooh, look at that. Even in the background. We might actually get some rain. Okay, that's pretty exciting. But that also means that I need to get with it and get this stuff picked, so 
probably gonna go ahead and shut the camera off. Hide you guys. Get as much of this picked as I can and then get inside before it hits. thing about hot peppers is making sure you wear gloves. For years, I used to cut peppers without gloves. Never had a problem, never had an issue. Until one year I did. I uh, had some jalapenos. They got, they were super hot. Cut them up just like I had any other year. Well, you know, that was the year. And my hands were so red and they like swelled up that I ended up having to go to the ER because it was a chemical burn. So, get me some steroids and it doesn't want them off. It's hard to do when you got gloves on. So, they gave me some steroids and some Benadryl type stuff and some burn cream that I had to keep on my hands. It was not fun, so. Guess what? From then on, I always wear gloves. These are a little bit different than relish. Uh, I actually cold pack these using the same pickle juice that I've got going that I use for the relish. It's still on the stove here, so I just cold pack these and then I'll pour the hot liquid over top of it and then I'll process these. Kind of before we're yellow peppers really aren't that hot, but. These ones this year, pretty hot. Took a, we got a bite of them. And when we took a bite of them, I took a bite of the end of it. I didn't think anything about it. I thought, oh, yeah, they're, they're warm. They're okay. And I told her, I said, take a bite. Well, I got the end of it. She got the middle of it and it lit her up. And I'm sitting there looking at her like, what? They, yeah, he thought bad. I was crazy. So I made him take another bite in the middle. Guess what? Lit him up. Lit me up. I like to push it down in there pretty good because you'd be surprised how much air space is in there. So push the peppers down quite a bit. There are a bunch of seeds there, that's for sure. So I won't be able to keep them or share them or whatever as true Hungarian wax peppers because the whole thing is when they cross pollinate. I mean, it's still gonna, it's still gonna put out pepper, but like an actual heirloom, true seed, true heirloom seed, um, has not been cross pollinated with anything else. These, however, has the possibility that they were cross pollinated because I did not cover it up. So, it will. I mean, it's still gonna give us the pepper, but. It's kind of like when you breed dogs, you breed a German Shepherd to say like a Labrador, you're gonna get a crossbreed dog. It's still gonna be a dog, but it's not gonna be a full blood German Shepherd. And we don't know what the other pepper was, but it's possible that it got cross pollinated. So we may have our own little hybrid pepper this year but that doesn't bother me because one reason i like having and saving our own seeds is because being this actually came to fruit so that we were able to harvest we know that these seeds are good here in our area you sometimes you can get seeds you know like for us we get seeds from the south they may not be too happy here in indiana so i like saving our own seeds even if they are cross-pollinated just because I know these seeds, whatever come out of this pepper, will be hardy enough to grow here in Indiana. And there won't be that concern.
Now, if you wanted to make sure that your peppers, when you pickled them, that they weren't quite as hot, you could go through the trouble of pulling the seeds out so that you didn't have any of the seeds in there. Um, for us, he actually likes the hot peppers, so I'm just putting the seeds in. Good. But if you wanted them to be milder, you could pull the seeds out and they would be a little bit milder. I suppose I should tell you, don't try this at home. But we've always had good success with it. And what I'm just gonna do is we have some jalapeno peppers. So we're just gonna mix the jalapenos with it and have our own pickled pepper mix. We did it last year with jalapenos and pepperoncinis and those were actually his favorite peppers. Once you get better done, I'm gonna go ahead and chop these ancient swords up. They're gonna be super simple because they're just going in the freezer. Got our inch and sword peppers labeled up and bagged up. They're ready for the freezer. Last but not least, I have the yard long green beans to do. I already got them snapped about that size. And all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blanch them for about three minutes, drain them, throw them in cold water, and then I'm gonna be sticking them in the freezer. Cause even though I got a pretty decent amount um, harvested today, I didn't get quite enough to even bother with canning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep freezing them until I get enough that it's worth canning. And then I'll get those canned. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. Be safe and God bless.